Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, another day, another new update. So, today we will talk about the latest iBridge OS 9.6 iCloud bypass on the all the MacBook that having the T2 Intel chipset. This bypass supports the latest Mac OS Sequoia 15.6 and lower, and this method is fully untethered. That means you can reboot the device easily without getting locked again. So, everything will be working in this method i will show you step by step tutorial like how you can install the tool and how you can perform the complete bypass and how you can update to the latest mac os version in the past i have covered lots of videos on the similar topic but this time it is the latest method and the tool become more easy and convenient to use so i will show you step by step how you can do that just stay tuned in the video and for the supported models i will show the complete list on the screen so you can pause the video and check it out so now let me just show you the complete process so without further delay let me just go to my computer screen and start this process Alright, so the first thing you have to restore your Mac iBridge OS version to the latest 9.6. So to do that, you have to go to the App Store and download the Apple Configurator 2. Now once it is installed, you have to put the logged Mac into the DFU mode and you have to connect with the Type-C to C cable with the host Mac. And make sure you connect the cable on the left side of top first port on both the MacBooks. So yes, for this process, you will require a extra Mac that is your host Mac to run the iCloud bypass tool and also you will require a type c to c cable now to put your locked intel t2 macbook into the dfu mode you have to follow the specific dfu instruction you need to press some specific button combination so for your ease i will just post the dfu instruction on the screen so you can pause the video and check it out and then you can try it on your mac so the instruction is you have to press and hold the power button while holding it you have to press the right shift and left control and option key and press it for 8 to 10 seconds all the keys will be pressing on the same time and then you will see the dfu screen it is a complete black screen or you can open the app Apple configurator it will prompt the DFU is connected or iTunes or Finder will also show your Mac is connected in the DFU mode. So these are some briefly instructions for the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air Intel DFU mode. For iMac and Mac Mini these are the same instruction but still if you get struggle in putting into the DFU mode on those you can just google it you will find many detailed article on how to put the DFU mode on Intel T2 chipset MacBook whether it's a iMac, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, all the Mac will be covered there so you can check it out. Now next to perform the restore you have to just right click on the DFU screen and click on restore or you can go to the actions from the top bar and select the restore. It will proceed the restore process. Next just wait for it to get complete and if in case if you face any error in the restore process you can retry the process just put your locked MacBook in the DFU mode again connect with the Apple configurator and click restore and it will complete the restore process and make sure your host macbook is working on the latest version of mac os so that the apple configurator and the restore process will be work fine as we experience that in the lower os sometime apple configurator will show some errors and on the new version it will get more success so always try on the latest version now you can see on the screen the restore process has been started so let's wait for it to get complete Alright so the restore process is done and on the lock Mac you will see the internet recovery screen. You can connect with the Wi-Fi and set up it to the activation lock screen. In the internet recovery screen or earth globe screen if it asks for to connect with the Wi-Fi just connect it and proceed for the installation and then come on the activation lock for proceed for the bypass. Okay, so now we are all set. My device is completely restored and the device is on the activation lock screen. Now let's download the iCloud Bypass tool. For that, you can check out the description link and download the HFZ Premium T2 Activator. At the moment, the latest version is version 6, so you can download the tool and install it on your normal Mac.
Alright, so the tool is installed. Now just connect your log Mac again into the DFU mode so that we can fetch the details on the tool and we can proceed for the registration. So let me just put my log Mac into the DFU mode. Alright, so the Mac is in the TFU mode and on the tool you will see your device details like model number, serial number and UDID number. Now first, in order to use this tool, you need to register your serial number in the tool server. For that, just copy the serial number and send it to me on my personal telegram. All the official contact links are in description so you can check it from there. Once your serial is registered, you can instantly use the tool. After that, you just need to click on the activate button and it will proceed for the bypass. So let me just show you how you can do that. My device is already registered so I will just click on the activate button. Now you can see it start performing the bypass so let's wait for it to get complete. Okay, now you can see within a minute you will see the success message on the tool that your Mac is activated. Now next step you have to install the fresh OS from the internet recovery. So for that you need to press the command plus R that is the old default recovery mode that will give you the default OS whether it's a Catalina or Mojave. And if you want the latest OS directly on your Mac you can install it via USB or you can use the option plus command plus R that will give you the latest OS that is the Sequoia. So you can try it as per your model both method will work so I'm using the option plus command plus R but you can use the normally command plus R also both will work. After that at this screen you need to connect to the Wi-Fi and proceed further then you will get the internet recovery globe and Apple logo and it will take some time and then you will head over to this screen that is the recovery mode of Mac operating system. From here you need to go to the disk utility first and you have to erase the SSD partition and after that just go back and you can simply install the latest fresh copy of the Mac OS. Now from here simply proceed and click on install. Now from here it will install the Mac operating system so it will take some time depending on your internet speed. So I will just skip this part or fast forward the video so that it will save time. So it's very easy process you just need to connect with the Wi-Fi and simply install it the OS and after the installation is done your Mac will be reboot and go to the new setup page. So let's wait for it to get complete. Alright, so the macOS installation is completed. Now you will get on this page. Now from here, simply set up the Mac to the home screen. The bypass is done. You just need to set up your Mac. So let's see. So now you can see we are on data and privacy page so everything looks good so far so let's complete the setup.
okay you can see welcome to the mac and the setup is completed that device has been successfully unlocked you can see the home screen everything looks good we have successfully bypassed with the hz t2 premium version 6 on the latest ibridge os 9.6 and the latest mac os sequoia 15.6 and further so you can see now the tool is very easy to use you just need to connect your mac and restore it and then connect again with the tool and click on activate and it's done so now it's very easy as compared to to the older version you can see my mac details everything looks good we are on the latest version so you can also register your mac if you have the similar kind of issue and you can easily bypass it with a single click or in some minutes and this method is fully untethered method that means you can reboot or power off without getting locked again so it's a good thing also the OTA updates are supported so you can go to the settings and you can update to the newer version as for now the OTA updates are supported but in future sometime Apple may give some security patches and in that the latest version may not get supported or you need to wait for the tool version to get that patch fixed and then you can update so always stay connected with my telegram channel or group I always post there before the patch comes so you can stay away or you can use the OTA blogger so that you can just block that security or restricted update on your mac so you can easily use your mac after that also and whenever we fix that patch or that restricted update then you can just easily update your device to the new version or you can just re bypass it on the latest one so always stay careful with these security patches just stay updated on my telegram channel for the latest updates so these are some precautions that will help you to maintain the bypass even if the patch comes for now everything looks good and working you can use your mac on the latest mac OS version also this tool offers the new feature that is the fake reset feature that will help you even if you reset from the settings your mac will be not lock again so that is the additional feature that will offer in the latest version so you can also try that feature if you want i will not try it and show you the complete thing again but you can just go to the settings and try it yourself and if you have any questions you can comment down below and i will love to answer you and if you need ota blocker you can just ping me on telegram and i will send you there so now you can see even after the reboot the device bypass is persistent everything working good with this method you can use app store facetime siri and iCloud login and all the feature working normally so you can also register your mac if you have similar kind of issues so that's all for today's video session i hope you gain some knowledge and also enjoying my content like this if yes just hit the like button on this video and if you are new here please subscribe my channel for more cool updates like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out